Hi, I'm John McNair. Welcome to Outdoor Elements in downtown Sussex. Come on in. Outdoor Elements is an outdoor adventure store. We specialize in ski tuning and custom boot fitting. In the summertime, we switch gears to mountain biking, hiking, backpacking, uh, a lot of trail running. We like to get out and enjoy the great outdoors ourselves. So we're out Fundy National Park in the Sussex, Greater Sussex region. People can come to us and they're going to know that when we're putting a backpack on them or a pair of boots on them, that we've tried it, we've played with it, we've been out there using it ourselves. So it's, it's not just a product sitting on a wall. It comes with our backing and our knowledge that it's, it's top notch and, uh, and the company is going to back that up as well. For me, I guess I kind of grew up. First jobs were always at ski shops, bike shops, working with my hands, fixing bikes, tuning skis. Enjoyed all those outdoor activities as well. Um, went to university for a little while in sciences, uh, moving into some sort of possible medical field or something like that. But I kind of was always attracted to doing something outside of that. So I took a break from university, decided to work at a ski shop, actually, and a bike shop in Halifax uh, for a year, year and a half. And then um, from there, Heard about the school out in BC that uh, seemed like a, seemed like a good choice and kind of up my alley. So I was like, well, I do want to go to school. So I went to Selkirk College in Nelson, British Columbia. And it was a ski resort operations and management program. And so it was a business program designed around the ski industry. So that sounded kind of fun. Sounded up my alley. Um, after that, I came home to do my work term at Crab Mountain, just outside Fredericton. And went from there to Poli Mountain and... Then one thing led to another. There was a summer and I wasn't uh, up to a whole lot. I was laid off from the ski hill for the summer and started repairing bikes after the local shop closed down. So I kind of saw a void in the market. People were calling me because they knew me from the local shop a little bit too. And one thing led to another. Kind of kept getting busier and busier. Needed a bigger space and a bigger space and needed more product for people. And, and here we are. So I kind of put together the proper business plan. It wasn't just a sideline anymore. It was time to kind of take the plunge and, and go for it. So... Um, some of the struggles you face, I guess, in any business are going to be some things out of your control and some things are within your control. So in my circumstance in this business, you know, weather is a big factor. So that's always a struggle every year. Uh, you're hoping it's going to snow. It's going to be a great winter. People are going to want to go skiing. In the summer, it's the same thing. It could be hot, cold, rainy. Um, so all the activities we do and adventures we go on in this business are weather dependent. In our control are obviously what, we, what we're buying, what we're putting in the store and the services we're providing. Uh, the people that are here um, working staff are very important. So, you know, those things, I've been really lucky. I've got great people here right now, and I always have had. So, you know, that really lends itself to the personality of the store and the character and what people come for. The biggest challenge, struggle within my, biz my business life so far was, yeah, in uh, September 2012, the whole store burned down. I watched it go. And, you know, we had a choice to make. Are we going to jump right back in and do this, you know, just like that and make it happen. But it was, you know, I had a lot to learn in that short amount of time about the insurance process and going through that whole bit. Um, and, you know, there was a lot of me said, do I really want to build this back up again? It took, a, you know, it took, you know, you're seven years in, eight years in, and all of a sudden it's gone. Fortunate for us through the process of looking at different spaces to rent and lease and things like that, a building came up for sale and we decided this was the right spot. You walked in and I based a lot of my decisions on gut feelings in my business action, not just numbers and gut feelings got to be there. And I walked in here. It was just, it was the place. It, it had all the character we wanted of an older building with the right space, the right location in a small town in Sussex. And, uh, and here we are. So we overcame that as one of the biggest struggles for sure. And I'm glad we kind of got through it. We learned a lot in that process and, uh, and here we are and happy to be here. I would say I define success by, I get up in the morning, I enjoy going to work every single day. There's days that are more stressful than others, but most days I really enjoy coming here. I even like staying after hours, I'm mopping the floor a lot of nights, and that's, you know, that's a simple menial task that I enjoy doing here, and I, so, you know, I consider us pretty successful here when people are coming in and they're, they're impressed by the store and the service and the products that we're providing. At the end of the day, the other thing that really defines it for me is that You've got to be able to also enjoy all the things that we're doing. I don't want just everybody else going out and enjoying skiing and hiking and backpacking and all those things. I want to make sure I'm out doing it with my family, with my kids, and being able to have the time 
that we have the right people in place that allow me to go do those things and enjoy it every day. You know, relationship building is so important. You know, you've got to be able to deal with all types of people and all types of situations. And uh, not every day is going to be easy. You're not going to be clocking out, uh, you know, an eight to five Monday to Friday. That's for sure, especially in the early stages. And make sure you take care of your, your people, not just your customers, but your, your staff. Like, it's incredible how important having a good team around you, not just direct staff, but your suppliers, your sales reps, your uh, your bankers, your accountants. Like, you got to be good with people and you got to make sure you have good people on your team all around you. So you have to be remarkable in what you do. And so the things that really set us aside and and people notice and talk about and continue to come back and see us, and that's the reason is because they've heard from somebody and these guys know what they're talking about. You can tell the way they talk about it, the passion and enthusiasm for it, and that's us. That's what we do. We live, eat, and breathe it.